Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV. And today we are looking at the disc tube culture from Arturia, part of the newly released FX Collection 3. In 1998, Thermonic Culture released the Culture Vulture, a boutique stereo distortion processor featuring three different vacuum tubes, one triode and two pentodes, with controls for drive and bias, or the amount of current going through the tubes. Although nominally a nonlinear distortion unit, the way that the vacuum tubes added harmonics to the sound provided a liveliness or warmth and was sometimes even used by mastering engineers. Thermonic Culture released an updated unit called the Ultra Vulture, which added the third pentode as well as this awesome purple finish. The Arturia Disc Tube Culture is based on these units. Although the emulated circuit and features are modeled after the Ultra Vulture, the look and feel is more like the original Culture Vulture. There are controls for selecting which among the four vacuum tubes you want to use, a drive control for the amount of signal fed into the tube, and bias which adjusts the amount of current going into the tube. The meter in the middle shows the current level. There are also controls for output level, wet-dry mix, and filter control for high frequencies. Let's try it out with some guitar sounds. Switch to Pentode 1. Pento 2. and Pentode 3. Pentode 3 is definitely the crunchiest, while the other modes provide some subtle sound sculpting from the bias and moderate levels of drive. We can take a closer look at the harmonic behavior of the disc tube culture by running a sine wave through it. Turn up a bit of drive and bias. As you can see and hear, more partials are added above the fundamental, giving the sound a richer timbre. Let's try Pentode 1. A smoother sound in some ways. Pentode 2. and Pentode 3.
Pentode 3 adds the most harmonics, producing a much more complex sound. This is why this tube sounded the most distorted with the guitar. Now let's try running a sawtooth wave through the various tubes. We can bring up the advanced functions, which extend the features of the original analog processors. There is a stereo mode selector for mid-side or left-right, an input section with low-pass and high-pass filters, and an optional output section with low-pass, high-pass, and slow. We can use these to affect which partials of the original sound are processed by the distortion. The meter also changes to show the sound spectrum and filter curves. Now that we've looked at the basic behaviors of the disc tube culture, let's try using it on a more complex example, an electric piano. I like that with Pentode 1, but let's try Pentode 2. Bring in the advanced features. Add some subtle output filtering. the drive and bias. Nice, but let's see if we can dial it in just right. Yeah, I like that. You know, just for fun, let's switch to Pento 3.
As mentioned earlier, the disc tube culture and its analog inspirations can be used as bus effects. Here we feed it both an electric piano and drums by G. Calvin Weston. We will see how the different tubes, drive, bias, EQ, and wet dry mix give us different sounds. We hope you've enjoyed this brief look at the new disc tube culture and have some ideas of the various ways it can be used in your own music. To find out more, please visit Arturia.com and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to CatSynth TV. 